Hello, and thank you for accessing iGuardian's video help. We're going to walk you through adding a profile. Go to www.iGuardian.com. Let's log in. Enter the email that you use to sign up with iGuardian. And it'll immediately take you to your dashboard. On your dashboard, you'll notice all the profiles that are currently being monitored with iGuardian. I'm watching myself, as well as my two sons. But I want to add somebody. So we have two ways of doing this, but they both take you to the same page. You can click on the plus sign, and it'll take you to the edit profile page, giving you a blank profile. But let's go back. You can also get to the Edit Profile page by clicking on the Settings button and Add or Edit Profiles, putting you on the Edit Profile page. Underneath the profiles that are currently connected, click on Add New Profile, and now you have a blank profile. So let's add somebody. And notice it says not connected. Where is the other say authorized with a green check mark? Let's click on the not connected. Clicking that button takes you to the authorized iGuardian to access Facebook page. Here you'll wait just a few moments. And it'll show you. You can either connect this profile using Stephanie Ochoa's profile or connect to a different profile. Well I'm Stephanie Ochoa and I've already connected myself so let's go to connect to a different profile. Here you'll need the Facebook account information of the person that you wish to monitor. And you'll also need their password. Click Login. Once you click Login, the application will ask for you to allow it or not allow it to run on the Facebook page. Well, we're going to allow it. So now this profile shows as authorized on the Edit Profile page. But let's go to the dashboard and see if it connected. There's his picture. And he already has activity. He has one image that's been flagged and several messages. We've successfully added a profile. Thank you for accessing iGuardian's video help. Have a great day.